doing for you guys today. It's going to be on ways to wear a scarf and to kind of wear them in a more unique and interesting way. Um, I know there are kind of three tradi traditional ways that people do wear them. I've come up with some ways <laughs> to uh, wear them that really puts an edge to your outfit and just kind of um, makes it more interesting. Now I am wearing just a white t-shirt because I do want all the attention to be on the scarves. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it helps you for the cold fall days. Um, some looks are a little chunkier around the neck so if you're interested in that, keep watching. So on to my kind of ideas and how I wear them, most mostly. Um, sometimes I find this not enough for an outfit, it's just kind of boring for me and I find this is a little, non, it's not enough fabric for me. It's just too long and rectangular, it just goes on forever. What I do is I take this pink scarf I have here and I just tie them both together at the end. Like this at the end, a knot. And this may look bulky, but once you see it, it looks really good. Next is a little bit, not tricky, but a little more intricate. So what you're going to do is just you're going to twist it. So you're going to bring this around and then keep bringing one on the right side around. Well, my right side. Just keep twisting. As a result, you kind of have this twisted candy cane effect. <laughs> so yeah, it's really cool. So what you're going to do is this knot's going to be in the back and you're going to press the twisted material up against your neck and you're just going to and this knot you can just kind of tuck it underneath in the back it's not really that bulky in the back and it will it does stay for me what you have is you have the texture here but since this is kind of thin in a way I do have this extra material that I did not twist because the checkered one was shorter what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of put that underneath so you have a like that two layered effect you're just kind of kind of like tuck it behind in the back it's so like do whatever feels right for you and you can just tuck the access like that so this is what you have as a finale if you wear like a black jacket it'll pick up on the pink and it'll pick up on the black and the checkered and it's just a really cool way of mixing your scarves it's really fun and interesting and you kind of have that people wonder like if you're wearing one scarf or you're wearing two scarves so it's interesting and people will definitely notice how unique and interesting it is. I really wanted to try something out with kind of a braided detail. I am using three scarves in order to braid. One is thin. The other one is like the purple version of the pink one. I have a variety of different colors in these ones. It is kind of a gradient sort of pattern. It goes from light purple to dark purple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tie these three scarves at the end. I know that's crazy, it may seem like a lot. I tie all three of them in the end. What I do is I take two of them and then just tie it to the other one like a knot. You have something like this. Anyway, so any, you're just going to start braiding. This may look crazy, you might think I'm a complete psycho for doing this, but I really try to do unique things with my scarves and I think this is an awesome way of combining three related colors because since we have purple in the printed scarf the other two purples pick up on that and it's just really cool I pretty much braid uh, a little bit more than halfway this is what you come up with you have this really cool braided look and what we're gonna do is kind of the same as I showed you before you're just going to place it on the side like this as kind of like a necklace as you would with a choker of some sort and you're just gonna bring this the side you didn't braid around bring this bring it around tuck it in the back again it stays pretty well and just tuck any loose ends that you have created and this is a really awesome way because it may seem like it's really heavy but really it's not it's really comfortable and I just love the contrast between the braided part and this kind of um, lower material and it will stay like if it does come loose it's easy to fix it's easy to do as you saw pattern detail and you have the gradient between the purples so it kind of looks like that it's fading I have this really sparkly grayish scarf I created this way that I do wear these kind of scarves that are more that are larger than usual let's kind of drape it against my chest bring the two end pieces back I just pull and tweak as I please. If you want it more tight around the neck, all you have to do is kind of pull like this, kind of dra drape it in the back, and then kind of pull that backwards. Since I, I have a lot here and I don't want all of this, I just tie it, loop, cross, tie, say something like that. And I tuck these two pieces 
underneath. Usually if they're nice to me, they will not budge. But sometimes they do pop out, but it's easier just to tuck them in. I love the kind of folding detail it gives, especially with this scarf. It's really pretty. If you just wear this with a simple black dress, a leather jacket, black leggings, and a pair of ankle boots, it's you're good to go because it's, this is a great pop of shine and shimmer to any bland, sort of boring outfit. I showed you with the pink and the plaid one. Um, any two scarves, if you tie together, it will turn out pretty interesting and it really just gives a really t cool touch to your outfit. I have this short Ed Hardy scarf. It's just a small square one with kind of a nautical, a nautical theme to it. So there's some ships and fish and all that. I have this kind of short square one as well. It's just blue plaid, really simple. I just fold them both into a triangle, just like this. It doesn't really matter if it's not even. And you're just gonna kind of shorten either if you want the pattern one on top or if you want it underneath. It would actually be cool if you had the pattern one peeking out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this longer and kind of not having having it even and having the bottom corner kind of come um, longer than the back. I'm gonna make this blue one shorter by folding it on top like this. So you're just gonna keep folding it like that. And then you're going to turn it around so you won't see the folds. Now you have this. So you have the blue plaid, but then you have the um, kind of pattern sticking out at the bottom. So you're going to tie it at both ends. And if you want the blue shorter, you can just add that. You can just fold it again at the top. Actually, if you do it just once, that's better because you need to tie it again at the back to secure it. So just a one loop like that. Do it on the other side as well. Now, when you place it on your chest like this, you kind of create that contrast between the pattern and the blue. So you're just gonna tie that in the back. You kind of have, if you kind of miss, kind of pull and tweak, like I said, you have um, kind of the fish popping out on one side. It's too much pattern going on, and I just like to ground it with a. Um, bold color. So another way for your printed silk scarves to kind of give a weight to it, you are going to put in your neck, around your neck, the simple way, meet them in the back, cross them over like this. The end pieces, what you can do to give it a more sense of texture is you're going to tie each end, as you can see, you're going to tie each end into a knot. You can kind of pull and tweak as you please, just to kind of give a more, um, natural look to it so if it's kind of like this and obviously that's not gonna look good you just want to kind of pull so it's more comfortable than tight thank you for watching and thank you to all my new subscribers see you next time